it's time to paint up the 18th Legion, the Sons of Vulcan, the Salamanders. Hello and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video, I will be painting up another Legion Imperialis Rhino to join my ranks of the um, the Loyalists alongside my Imperial Fists. Today we shall be painting this up as Salamanders. So uh, I have no experience painting Salamanders, so this is sort of just a see what happens as we, as we go along. But... Um, yeah, this is uh, this is undercoated with Army Painter Brain Master Beige, and let's see how we go. So first, I think I'm going to go in with Striking Scorpion Green. I have no idea if this is going to turn out too bright, but if it does, we could always darken it down at a later point. Um, also, if you would like to support the channel in any way, um, I have a PayPal linked in my description. If you would like to support the channel, please go on there and uh, anything. Any money I make on there will go into improving the quality of this channel, be it getting better um, painting lights or new apparatus for different types of things, but we shall see. But anyway, let's see how this goes. So yeah, you can just slap this all down. Um, contrast paints are really good for their coverage, which is really nice. It goes down really well, but I probably need two coats on here. So we'll get that finished and I will be back. Okay, so that's two coats of the um, Striking Scorpion Green, the contrast. Um, I do like the green, but it is coming out a bit bright. So what I think I might do is, um, to tone it down, I was on an iron weather to go with um, Biltang Green uh, shade and just slap that all over, um, or go with Orc flesh mixed with contrast medium. I don't know what to do here. Um, you know what? Let's just give uh, the Biltang Green a try because I do quite like the Biltang Green and it does tend to darken greens down a fair amount. But let's, let's start with that and see how that turns out. And if I'm not happy with it, then I could always respray and repaint. Ho hopefully, it becomes more obvious when it dries that it's darkened it actually looks like it's darkening it down quite nice actually I think I might have made the right choice here yeah I quite like how that's darkening down now eh? you can see quite a bit of difference in there it's not as obvious in real life you can you can tell it's getting darker but I think it actually shows up better on camera there um, but yeah, I'll get that finished and we'll see what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, so I'm actually quite pleased with how that green's turned out on there. Um, it's still drying slightly. But we're going to go on into the next colour because I'm impatient. But I highly advise you wait until parts are fully dry. So, for this next bit, <clears throat> we're going to do, we're going to go in with Black Legion. And this is like the secondary colour of the Salamanders. Uh, but this is also going to be used for uh, putting down the base coat on anything that's going to be um, uh, gunmetal. Like, uh, that will eventually be <coughs> Lead Belcher or uh, other colours such as that. Those sort of gunmetals. So, for this we want to get, we want to hit the bulldozer. We want to hit the the bolters on the top. We want to hit the vents, the exhausts even. We also want to hit these little wire bits. You don't have to do these little wire bits at the bottom. They're not even, probably not even wires, but you know, those bits there. And the tracks and the wheels inside the tracks as well on the underneath, like so. So those are the little bits that are going to be um, lead belcher. And then the bits that we want to have black and stay black. 
been highlighted up is uh, like these bits here, this bit and this bit here and then the front bits as well, all in there that bit, that bit the light as well I mean if you wanted to do like the top hatch you can or the rear hatch or even the side hatches black or if you're doing a whole battalion of them you can mix it all up but for the sake of this I'm doing the bits that I'm just dabbing with the black now just so you can see what's getting done um do you know what I'm going to do the I'm going to do the side hatches as well so they're going to be black as well so all those bits I will get and we'll be back shortly once that's all finished okay so next up for our salon man is rhino uh, we're going to go in with lead belcher and this is to uh, do our silvery bits uh, so we want to hit the bulldozer blade the tracks and the vent uh, the, the exhausts and the bits on the guns as well so as always give our pot a good shake Use our wet palette, water it down a tiny bit. Don't want to water metallics down too much because they go a bit funny. But and then yeah, just fill it in like so. I'll get the whole bit done and we'll be back. Okay, so next up we want to take non oil and just shade in all the um. All the metallics that we've just uh, put down so all the uh the guns at the top which i decided to do metallic the guns at the top the exhausts uh, the bulldozer blade at the front and of course the the tracks I'll get that done and we'll be back. Okay, so final bit of highlighting now for this guy. So the green doesn't really need highlighting because the contrast has done most of the highlighting for us. So we just want to highlight a little bit of the blue. So I'm going to use, sorry, a bit of the black. Uh, for this, I'm going to use rust grey. And this is just on the sharpest edges. So first we want to just thin it down slightly with a tiny bit of water. Like so, and then just run this along the sharpest edges, right on this bit, top bit here, top bit here, like so, get some more off the brush, and here, here as well, don't forget like the rivets and stuff, on there. And top of the door and some of these bits down here. Just the top of each. Just the top of each bit where it sort of goes in. Don't go too mad. Yeah, top of the door like that. A little bit of these pipes. Under there. And just the sharp edges here. Okay, so almost nearly there. So final part, we're going to take um, P3, uh, Moro White. And literally this is just for dots on the lights on the front. So one, two. Like so. Don't need to do any more than that. Happy days. Okay, so Salamander Rhino is coming along nicely. Um, now I'm going to attempt something because I haven't got um, any transfer salamander ones I can't be asked to wait for some to arrive I am going to attempt to freehand it so I'm going to get Black Legion for this and I'm going to attempt to do a little dragon symbol up on here um, so we shall see how that turns out so yeah I'm uh, quite happy with actually how that's turned out it's not half bad I've never really been great at drawing, but I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I mean, you can go ahead if you've got the transfers. You can put more on 
on your model uh, as and how you want to but I'll probably leave it at that for now I'm quite happy with just the one logo on there um, but yeah if you enjoyed this video please leave me a like and subscribe um, and share um, if you would like to support my channel I do have a PayPal linked in the description and anything on there will go into um, improving the quality of my future videos be it a new painting desk lamp or um, yeah just more recording stuff in general um but yeah um please do if you anything you can spare i'll be much appreciated and if you would like a particular legion painted up next all you need to do is um donate and i will try and get it up as soon as possible i do plan to do all of them eventually um but of course a donation would help speed things along but yeah there you have it that is the um salamanders of Legion Imperialis how to paint video. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.